Hi, today I'm going to show you how a training manager can set up a training course on a county's Scouts Online website. I'm logged into the website with a user that's got content contributor privileges. This allows them to create events, news articles and photo albums, but not change website settings or edit page content. As you can see, I'm creating a new event in Event Management and filling in the details for an All Appointments Adult Training Day. If you want to charge for the training course and you've got PayPal account details set up in your global settings page, you can add a value in the price field. This will take the course attendee through a payment process as part of making a course booking on your website. As well as the event header details, there are fields to promote the event on image banner controls on various pages. The event type field defines where the event will be displayed. As this is an adult training course, I've unticked the general event type and just ticked the adult training. The event will therefore just be shown in the adult training diary and the what's on page. On the training events tab, you can select the modules to be covered on the course to ensure leaders can pick the course that best meets their training needs. If you were creating a Young Leaders training course, you would pick the Young Leader training event type and select the Young Leader modules here. As we want to allow leaders to book a place on the course online, I'm defining the booking form, who will receive the booking form, a thank you message to send back to the attendee and the number of places on the course. Defining the number of places on the course will limit bookings so only the first 20 adults will be able to book a place. After that the course will be shown as fully booked. Before the training course you will be able to download a list of the attendees that have made a booking by clicking the export attendees list button. We can add our own images to promote the event on image banners on various pages and on the what's on page. In this instance I'm going to add a scouts image from the inventory. Then I'm going to save the changes and log out so that we can see how it looks to a normal website visitor. As you can see the new course now appears on the adult training diary page and the modules covered is immediately obvious. When I click on the More Details link, we can see the Wood Badge image, the course details and the online form. The learner can also see descriptions of each module by hovering over them. Now the new leader can reserve a place on the training course. They can enter their contact details, scouting details, emergency details and further requirements. Scouting roles list is pre-populated for you and is different depending on which country in the UK you are located. The districts list is pre-populated from the admin districts page and the groups list is pre-populated from the groups within that district selected. The adult filling in the form just selects from the lists. These details will be emailed to the training manager and stored on the event so that the course administrator can download them prior to the course to assess attendance, dietary requirements and other special requirements.